Did you know that professionals struggle to get stakeholders, managers, and teams aligned to their ideas? Getting buy-in is a sure way to get stakeholders excited about your ideas, resolve cross-functional issues, and advocate for yourself and your team. In today's video, I will share with you a blueprint or a template that you can use every single time to get buy-in from your team or your manager or your stakeholders. Before I get started, a quick reminder to 80% of you who haven't yet subscribed to my channel to do so now and click on the notification bell icon so that you can be notified as soon as I release a new video. Your subscription helps with channel growth, lets me know that you find value in what I share and inspires me to bring these powerful videos to you. And now that we have you subscribed, let's get started. The three key reasons why most of us struggle to get stakeholder buy-in are assuming alignment, time crunch, and fear of confrontation. Let's decode this. Assuming alignment refers to the assumption that your stakeholders think exactly what you are thinking. We assume that everybody will see the greatness in our idea and align to it very quickly. However, that rarely happens. And that's because you have not articulated your idea or shared your idea with your stakeholders in a way that aligns with their business initiatives. You can't assume that your stakeholders will believe in your idea when they haven't discussed it with you, even when they haven't had an opportunity to ask you questions. Just by sharing the idea, you cannot get a buy-in. So assuming that the moment you'll share the idea, everybody will jump and be on board with your idea is an incorrect assumption. The second reason is feeling time crunched. We believe that there isn't enough time to get everybody fully bought in before moving forward. So we decide just to move forward without getting buy-in from others. So don't feel time crunched. Third is the fear of confrontation. We are afraid someone will confront us or will disagree with us. So we try to sneak the plan through. And sometimes we do it subconsciously and we aren't even aware of this fear. Whether you are pitching for a new project at work, suggesting improvements to an existing process or presenting a fresh strategy, getting others to support your ideas is so crucial for success. And now that we know all three reasons why we struggle to get the buy-in, Let's look at the blueprint that you can follow to ensure that your ideas are heard and embraced by your stakeholders, by your managers, and your team. The first aspect to this blueprint is to identify allies who can be champions of your ideas. Allies are individuals who have influence and they can help you advocate for your proposal. Building a team of supporters not only strengthens your position, but also increases the reach and the impact of your message and your idea. Look for colleagues, look for mentors, sponsors, or leaders who share your vision and they they can lend their support to amplify your message. Next is to use a storytelling approach to craft a compelling narrative for your idea or recommendations. We are human beings. We learn from stories. We have grown up with stories. People connect with stories on an emotional level, which makes stories such a powerful tool for persuasion. So when you're thinking about how to craft that message in a manner that will make maximum impact, use the storytelling approach. Frame your idea in a story that highlights the problem, proposed solution, and the positive outcome. Make it relatable, make it engaging to capture the attention of your audience. When you weave a narrative in a format that talks about the problem first, how your solutions help solve the problem, and what are the expected results, it makes it easy for people to capture the essence of your idea and they can quickly move forward to asking you clarifying questions so that they can give their buy-in for your idea. The next is to co-create the solution with your stakeholders. Yes, I know I talked about proposing the solution in the storytelling approach, but make that solution broad and then invite your stakeholders to co-create that solution and get into the nitty-gritties of the solution with them. When people feel that they have stake in the outcome, they're more likely to support the idea. Seek input from relevant parties early on in the process and incorporate that feedback. This collaborative approach not only improves your proposal, but also fosters a sense of ownership amongst the stakeholders. When you co-create a solution, everyone who helped in the process wants to make sure that it is successful and you get a buy-in for your idea. Moving on to the next element in this blueprint. When you propose an idea, stakeholders will have questions. 
often times when people ask us questions we become defensive we think that they are poking holes in our ideas and they are not aligned and that's when we don't practice active listening and what we do is we try to become defensive and we start framing the answers in our head even before people have asked us the question so show genuine interest in their perspective be open to the feedback and address their worries and questions thoughtfully demonstrating that you value their input don't be defensive be in a constructive feedback receiving mode and look at the questions and ask clarifying questions how can i respond to this question so that it will help you elevate the fears that you have around the idea that i am suggesting so those kind of clarifying questions will help you frame an answer that will resonate with your audience empathetic listening builds trust it can help you identify potential obstacles that you can then proactively address so look at this question answer phase in your idea sharing process as a phase that's critical for the success of your idea implementation the next element in this blueprint process is to be prepared to support your responses with data including customer stories and metrics most organizations today take a data driven approach hard numbers and concrete examples add credibility to your proposal use relevant data to back up your claims and highlight the potential benefits of your idea or the solution that you want to implement or the process change that you want to implement customer use cases and success stories are a great way to show real world applications and success making your idea more tangible and convincing and finally in this entire process project confidence your body language your tone of voice your overall presence can significantly influence how the message is received present your idea with enthusiasm and assurance and deep conviction confidence inspires trust and can persuade others to believe in your vision when you are confident in your vision and when you come across confident while talking about your vision the numbers the customer stories everybody else feels confident about your ideas but when you are shaky about your idea when you use phrases like maybe i don't know i think so then others feel nervous about your idea because they don't get that sense of confidence from you so there you go that's the blueprint engaging allies using storytelling approach co-creating the solution listening with empathy taking a data driven approach and projecting confidence while delivering your idea by implementing this blueprint you are well on your way to turning your ideas into a reality and getting buy in from all your stakeholders to move forward with your proposed solution and make an impact if you like this video please like share comment and subscribe by doing so you help in increasing the reach of the channel and help others who might benefit from my videos thank you so much for watching have a successful week bye bye